solving problems too. Come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew needs you. Dad, any ideas for keeping the passengers entertained? They're getting bored. Well, they could help me sort this place out. They're not that bored, Dad. Well, in that case, I can't... Oh, by heck, I haven't played this for ages. Don't start again just for us, Dad. Years ago, I used to play in a club. A club. That's exactly what the passengers need. It'll be like a holiday club, Mum. The passengers are on holiday all the time. Yeah, but at the club we'll have special food and drink. And music and games. OK, then. As long as you plan everything carefully. Good luck. Okay, I've got my tools ready in case there's anything needs sorting. And I've got your two customers to practice on. Why two customers, Dad? The sort of clubs I used to play and only let couples in. Okay, we'll do two customers at a time. Big groups can be very troublesome. They'll have to buy tickets. Five pence. And if they're coming in two at a time... It'll be five pence times two. Oh, well, that's a... Uh, 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 come on, Bradley. Oh, it's all going wrong. Oh, don't worry, Bradley. You'll soon get it sorted. Just like I'll get any problem sorted with the number car. But what does Bradley need to help him work out how much money to charge? Well, it's five pence each, and they're coming in two at a time. Five times two. Hang on, where have you heard that before? Oh, yeah, saying your tables. You see, knowing his two times table is going to be very useful for Bradley. He's got to work out two lots of five. And that's the same as saying five times two. And five times two is... Ten. Right, then they'll want to go in and get something to eat. <laughs> to flow. I've made some lovely nibblies. Will there be enough? Well, I've made ten nibblies. But if they're sharing a plate between two, how many is that each? OK, so Flo's made ten nibblies, and she needs to know how many that is each shared between two passengers. Hang on. Sharing. That's dividing by two, isn't it? Not multiplying by two like we had before. Well, can you use your times tables to divide as well as multiply? Well, let's have a look. Well, there's five times two equals ten. Ah, ten. That's the number we need some help with, isn't it? We need to know ten divided by two. Well, if we know that five times two equals ten, then we can turn it around so that ten divided by two equals, yeah, five. So you see, you can use your times tables to help you do dividing as well as multiplying. And I tell you what, if these two times tables are that useful, we better make sure we remember them. For multiplying and dividing two, <coughs> start with one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. To multiply or to divide, five times two is ten, six times two is twelve, seven times two is fourteen. The two times tables on your side. Eight times twos, nine times twos, ten times twos, twenty. 
So call those tables out with pride. So keep your eyes and ears open for chances to use your times tables. Let's see if the number crew get another chance to divide using their times tables. Now the customers will be wanting a drink. <coughs> the lemonade's very nice. <coughs> it's 20 pence. <coughs> but you can buy a bottle between you. Do you need a hand, love? Don't worry, Dad. I've got it all up here. Well, she knows what she's doing, that fizz. 20 divided by 2. There, it's just another chance for her to use a two times table. Now, she knows that 10 times 2 equals 20, then you can turn that around so that 20 divided by 2 equals yeah, 10. You see, tables help you multiply and divide. They're a bit like these. Tables are very useful tools. And like most tools, you can use them for more than one thing. When you calculate at home or school You've got to have some number tools Don't need a wooden box like Ted's Carry your tools inside your head To multiply or to divide Those number tools are right inside don't need a wooden box like Ted's Carry your tools inside your head When you need an answer and you need it quick A number tool will do the trick Don't need a wooden box like Ted's Carry your tools inside your head Right then, nearly time for the Holiday Club to open its doors. But before it does, let's take one last look at the two times table. Let's see what numbers light up when we drive up the two times table. Now, I'm already at 12 on the number square, which is 6 times 2. So, let's carry on. Ready? 7 times 2 is 14. 8 times 2 is 16. 9 times 2 is 18. 10 times 2 is 20. Good. So you see, the ten numbers that light up when we say the two times table. But we could go on further. Eleven times two is twenty-two. Twelve times two is twenty-four. In fact, you could go on and on and on and on and on, all the way up to a hundred. Now something times two must equal a hundred. But what number is it? See if you can find out. But before you do, let's see how the Holiday Club is getting on. Two at a time, please, or the bouncer won't let you in. Please enjoy yourself, everyone. You want a holiday club for the number box? Oh, dear. We'll have to think about that. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew needs you.